I was going for a run. Found some fennel. Okay, if you see this plant right here, it's the anise plant that grows wild. And um, it's, uh, it's one of mine and my children's favorite edibles. You have to like a somewhat diluted licorice flavor. It was growing all over the canyons here in Southern California. And then if you look out there in the meadow at, I can zoom in for you. I'm gonna take you over there. This is the wild mustard that I've been talking to you guys about. And this is very really spicy, so it's not for everybody. But you can definitely, you can definitely put this into your uh, salads. Or if you're like me, I just like chomp on it a little bit. But again, I'm intentionally getting myself a little bit adapted to eating a little bit of wild edibles because I think it's super good for the colon, the cleanse. I think it's super good for the blood system. And I encourage everybody to, uh, you know, read up on the benefits of eating wild plants. And it's sort of like the technology thing. You don't have to give up technology to go into nature, and you don't have to give up your luxurious uh, dietary your favorite restaurants, etc., to uh, chomp on primitive foods. I say primitive, I know somebody's going to come here and tell me that anise is only a, something that we carried over from Europe. <laughs> um, mustard is definitely a stronger herb and a I, you know, my girlfriend could not handle mustard at all. I have an intention of learning from nature. And part of my learning lessons from nature is how can I do some uh, foraging when I'm in the woods, canyons, forests, etc. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll be here for six hours, so I have my cottage cheese, my carrots, my bell peppers, my cucumbers. Um, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to eat or what to eat. Uh, I'm just showing you that um, this is possible. Here's my first hearty blanket. And then here's my softer wool blanket. And both of them give me, combined they protect me from the dampness of the earth. And they give me um, padding. And as you can see, I'm, you know, I'm in the shade of California coastal oak and scrub oak. And um, those are the predominant shrubbery around me. One other thing, um, when I was talking to you early this morning, I was showing you my beach situation. And we've talked a lot about, you know, the center of the earth. I know, we I talked about the center of the universe. That's a psychological term, the center of the universe, the center of the earth, the center of my being, the core of my being, grounded on earth, in a place where I can feel... Uh, a connection to heart, connection to body, a balance between mind, heart, and body, uh, mind, heart, body, spirit, 
you know, these are just words to talk about what David brought up, which is that he said when he's here, he feels...